Hello folks and welcome back to the glorious Trebizondian Empire. We are 120 years away from the end of the game and we've got 500 development. So we're halfway to our, uh, you know, development goal to be an empire, to get our achievement, but we are, you know, only 120 years away from the end of the game and we're not exactly in the best position in the world. Um, so, well... I mean, we'll try, we'll try, but uh, I think we're definitely going to be colonizing the Siberian plains here. We'll be expanding into Asia, and uh, hopefully no one attacks us in the west, and uh, everything should be fine. Now, I was looking at development, and I was surprised to see that, okay, yeah, the Ottomans have insane amounts, right? 1,600. The French are incredible in this game. Uh, but then we've got Jainpur, Gujarat, Lithuania, uh, Poland... Uh, yeah, they're actually under a thousand, which is uh, incredible, and they still beat me, uh, of course. However, we've got two Asian states, Wu and Songhai, which have quite a high development. And then we also have, of course, Muscovy with 581. So technically, if we were able to annex all of Muscovy, we, we would get quite a bit of development, even though most of it is concentrated in the west. However, I don't th know if it's worth actually damaging our, you know, hundreds of years old relation and massive trust just to get some provinces over there. I think we should really focus on trying to take some of this and perhaps moving our capital over into Asia. Actually, I just saw we're at our manpower pool. We've got a sizable army. We are ahead in tech against Jin and Wu by quite a bit. They're at 18, we're at 22. And uh, Jin is only allied with Wu, and we have Shu as an ally, so we could uh, most definitely invite Shu to this war. I don't think the rest would uh, would join at all, but it doesn't matter. I think we would have quite a chance to defeat them. All right, let's do it. I was just double checking some things. I raised the trust of Shu, and uh, yeah, we're gonna go with the imperialism cost his belly. Um, of course, I've got to raise our, oh yeah, our maintenance is going up. And we'll rally the troops somewhere nice, somewhere they, uh, they can feel comfortable. That will be, that's not nice, that, this is a good land, yes, we'll go there. I think it's going pretty well, we haven't actually lost that many men, and, uh, we're finishing up the war. It seems like, of course, some other actors were involved in this war, and, uh, well, in the meantime, we just siege things down, wait for the other to make peace, and then tr take as much as we can. Uh, I saw that Jin has actually over 200 development, so the more we take, the better, right? Alright, you know what, let's actually go ahead and uh, send this deal. I can't really bother to get too involved in this war. I think uh, this is pretty good, and uh, we'll send our boys home. Look at that, 579, and that was only in four years, 79 more developments. So at this pace, <laughs> of course we won't be able to keep this pace, but uh, we could definitely become an empire. Uh, we just have to keep at it. Ooh, you, uh, you, you, whatever, has rivaled me. Fantastic, they will be crushed. Oh, I got a bunch of pop-ups, and I was scared for a second that... Uh, Someone big had declared war on me, but apparently it's just that we fail our mission because this province that we were supposed to conquer, Doranogovi, will actually rebelled and became the Oryat Horde. Uh, and Mongolia has uh, been released as well, so there's that. We'll have to fabricate claims on them, but we'll, uh, we'll declare war on the Oryats and actually grab uh, ourselves another province. Of course, I'll allow the Ottomans some axes, uh, just to make sure they don't declare war on me. And yes, I think uh, we'll be, ooh, establish, establish presence in Canada. Now please tell me how I would do that. Oh wait, apparently I can colonize uh, Canadian provinces, they are within my reach. Should I? I don't know. I'd rather reach the Pacific from this side. Here we are, a province connected directly to the Pacific. Oh yes, come on, this is gonna be beautiful. Peace! Peace! Yes. More peace. Peace everywhere, except, you know, wherever I'm going, which is there. 
We also have Shun, you know, kind of messing up our borders. Our borders are terrible. Not the least in the west side here, but uh, also right here in the middle and then that, that bubble that I'm gonna fill in later. But uh, yeah, we should definitely see what we can do about Shun. However, they seem to be allied with quite a number of people. I think once we take down Manchu, uh, we should, uh, yeah, we'll go against Shun. However, Manchu rivaled me and they're allied with Shu. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know why Shu doesn't. Shu should stay on my side, right? I, I don't. I don't want them going over to the enemy. Uh, but oh well. Oh well. Damn it. God damn it. Oh, I hate this. So who joined me? Who joined me? Let's see. Bohemia is on my side. Gujarat, Muscovy, and Shu. They've got all of the Scandinavian powers there. And they've got Poland, and Lithuania just by itself is crazy. But what is it they want again? Imperialist war. So pretty much everything, I assume. Uh, they hate me. Of course, wait, oh yes. Yeah, they, they, they want quite a bit of our land. Ah, oh, damn it. Actually, on a technical view, we have a lot more troops than them. And we've got a kick-ass uh, Bohemia here to help us out. So maybe, just maybe, you know, we could uh, come out with a white piece on this one. I... I don't know. Length of war, holds Vilnius, yeah. We'd have to take their capital, I think, but um, otherwise we're, uh, we're fine. Oh, and there go the Muscovite armies, just up in smoke. Uh, God damn it, Lithuania. God damn it. Oh, recall diplomat, yes. Oh, there go the Bohemian armies too. Right. And they had an army just standing there south of it, south of the battle. Like, what What are they doing? Ugh. Alright, Muscovy is gonna go under the cutting knife again. I'm not giving a single province of mine away, I just keep giving my allies. <laughs> It's, it's nice to have Muscovy, actually, because, you know, they, they prove to be quite a nice buffer, and I can just keep giving Lithuania provinces. It won't hold Lithuania back forever, you know, but uh, every time they come, they get a piece, and, uh, of course, my allies don't exactly like it, but whatever, you know, whatever. We, we've got to survive. Ah, uh, and Lithuania, how do these blobs not collapse? Come on, they're just too big. Global settler increases? Yes, please. Yes, I mean, I need that. Did we get a free colonist? No, no. I just imagined that. Uh, and then there's recruitment time, that's interesting. But that's not really what I'm after. These, kind of useless. Divine supremacy might be useful for converting the Asian provinces. Well, hello Mongolia, you have no allies, I am fabricated on the entire border, and, uh, well, you look quite tasty, I must say, so we'll go with the imperialist one, right? 75 aggressive expansion, oh wait, maybe holy war would be more appropriate. Hmm, we'll do that, yes. I have so many gold provinces right now, it's crazy. I mean, it's actually th four prov gold provinces just here in the east. Um, of course, they aren't the most productive things in the world, but I think... Do I have another one in the west? No. Still, though, it's uh, quite amazing, and we seem to be conquering, going into a very um, wool-heavy area there with lots of sheep for things, right? There we go. Bye bye Mongolia, I say. Oh, lovely, lovely. We are looking pretty powerful. Let's see how many development points we have. 654. Okay, people, I think maybe there's a small sliver still of hope uh, in the horizon. Uh, should we convert or should we core first? That is the question. I think we'll go ahead and uh, convert first. Because the points are scarce at the moment. Oh wait, actually, no, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, core and convert. We'll do everything at the same time, you know. Because we can. 
Alright, so we're actually really close to Beijing here, and uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea, I think, to have Beijing. They're allied with Wu and Shun. They're, uh, we don't exactly like Shun, we want an opportunity to strike at Shun. And, uh, yeah, our ally is Shu, and Wu is our rival too, so... Actually, let's uh, start fabricating, shall we not? Because, uh... Why not? Actually, which one has the most development? Definitely Ching Day, so we'll start with Ching Day there. Hopefully I haven't, uh... uh just butchered the pronunciation, but uh, that's very likely. Alright, we're, uh, finally moving our fleet from, uh... The Crimean trade node over to Jirin. I mean, it's a u kind of a useless node here, um, but it has some wealth, and actually, it re w it increases our trade value by the same amount that we increase it on the other side there. Actually, just a little bit more. So we'll go ahead and do that. I don't know if I should go home at war or not, because over here I don't think they have navies that can really defeat me. It's actually really nice that our massive expansion here is all happening under Gabriel the First, you know, because it's uh, my name is actually Gabriel, if you ha didn't know, uh, and yeah, we're we're doing very well under my rule. I should have always called my ruler ruler as Gabriel, right? Okay, this is kind of a funny mission that we got. A base in India, Bengal. Basically, it wants me to own the Bengal Delta. Which, uh, yeah, is this province, and it's right in the middle of Jaipur there, it's just, I don't know how the AI even, like, tells me to do that. That's just crazy. Uh, also, establish Trebizond in the Spice Islands, uh, take Makassar. It wouldn't actually be such a bad idea, I've realized. Um, we'd need some transport ships, and we'd conquer these things here. Actually, I mean... I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, we... How's the trade? How does the trade go here? Can it go north? No, it flows from the Philippines south. I see. Well, it goes Mal Malacca, right? It's just that it... It's so tasty. It's really tempting. We've got 28 development in Makassar, and then I could take Paolopo and have another 21 so that's almost 50 development in just one grab and then the provinces around might net me a total of a hundred nah like a hundred uh, I don't know I think we'll uh, we'll keep expanding north here and um, there's this other mission that gives me one base tax or production in Ohotsk local development cost minus 15% you know what let's take that one well, hello there, Buryati. Um, Orthodox tribe. Interesting, but I can't let you stay around. I mean, it's just, sorry. It just doesn't work that way around here. All right. Bye-bye, Buryati. Buryati. Oh, look at that. That is a nice name, except Shun is in the way in that blob again. Um, we'll, we'll fix it. Now, I would fabricate a claim on these people, but they're a tribe and they're just, you know, in our in our way. So, let's, uh, let's take them down. Oh, hey, the Timurids are back. Hello there. Interesting. Very interesting, actually. Um, how much development, how much development do we have here? 13, 20, 43 plus 6. And then, yeah, plus 12, so... 50-something? That's interesting. Actually, let's start fabricating. Uh, should we? Should we? That's the question. Uh, yeah, why not? Ooh, the Ottomans have actually banned slave trade. So, now it begins then. The uh, wave of abolitionism throughout the world. Well, hello, Lithuania. Who joins me this time to defend me? Oh, wait, so it's just Lithuania and Tabaristan for now. Hopefully, actually, who's Lithuania allied to? Okay, Muscovy and... Yeah, they'll they'll probably join in good time, but Bohemia, Muscovy, and Shu, and Gujarat are on my side, so... 
I'm actually not gonna give two fucks about the war over there, and I'm just gonna concentrate on taking care of this rebellion and conquering these people here. It's actually proving to be quite hard since, uh, well, you take a lot of attrition in these areas. Alright, let's take it. Let's see. Ah, oh, lovely, lovely. Now, let's see how many development points we have. 730. That is... This is really good. We might be able to do it. We'll see how Lithuania fares against us, though. Uh, it's actually only Lithuania and Tabarstan, so we might actually be able to pu pull something off here. Who knows? Tabarstan... Yeah, I think I can deal with them, and then they can deal with Lithuania or something. Alright, I'll give them this piece. I was, um, we actually had a really good deal, um, going, because we had 11%, but then suddenly their troops engaged, uh, the Bohemian ones and started winning, and I just couldn't piece out then, and we just, uh, fell below the white peace line, and Poland joined the war, so I don't think we, c we could have won that, but you know. Moscow, or Moscovy losing one province, that's that's fine with me. Let's uh, actually threaten war for Hami here. Get a truce with uh, Shun. I know it sounds crazy, but you know, I think we actually need a little bit of a recovery. We're also gonna go and threaten war on these guys here. And get that province there. So we don't take Beijing just yet, but soon. And once I do have Beijing, though, I do plan on actually converting it to uh, Pontic culture and perhaps making it our capital. I really actually need to move our capital east, um, but, you know, I don't have any high development province out here yet. Uh, however, we do border two of them, which could be um, very good for us. 757. Okay, we're... We're doing good, I think. We we can definitely become an empire. Uh, however, I mean, a lot of our development is in this area here, and we still have Lithuania and these people to deal with uh, every once in a while, so it's a matter of expanding as fast as we can out here before they take stuff. Oh, I always love our uniforms, that uh, black and white attire. However, we are being attacked by this uh, separatist movement here, uh, right into this peninsula, so I don't think this army stands any chance. Uh, we do need to expand our military, though, uh, once, like, if the, these guys go away, but I'm moving my main force over to the uh, east there to deal with them. Actually, considering our, our army limit, we could have another, like, uh, this eastern force and then the western force that we can take in once in a while instead of having a colonial one because we don't really need a colonial force anymore hmm the Timurids have no allies and uh, they're open for the taking so let's actually go ahead and take those 50 development those tasty provinces bye bye Timurids you are no more how does our name look ah I think it's just this little dot there that's uh Preventing us from having a glorious lettering all over, you know, from from the Black Sea over to all over to the Pacific. It's beautiful. 806 development, everybody. We're close. We're really close now. It's incredible, actually. I've uh, raised the country's development from like 500 to 800 in just in under 30 years, pretty much. So, hooray for Gabriel the first greatest emperor ever. Oh hey, Brazil's a thing. Welcome. And Mexico. Oh, yes. Uh, so, yeah. And Peru as well. That's nice. Or maybe they were before. Yeah, it was a British colony, I think. Um, I noticed, however, that the Pacific Islands, of course, we weren't going to colonize them because our focus is really just to do as I've said before, but uh, Colombia's been colonizing. We've got Spanish uh, stuff as well. Yeah, we definitely have some uh, players coming in. So, I'm actually gonna go colonize this now, as you see here. Because then I get to close off everyone from uh, entering, yeah, my area. This is my land, right? 
I don't want anyone messing about with it. We're actually gonna threaten war against Jin for Dao Tong here. Cause I don't want to go to war right now since I need to rebuild my manpower to succeed in my mission and um, yeah, I just don't really want war right now. Uh, at least not, you know, to get into a war where Manchuria is already fighting Jin there. So let's just go for Datong. It's 16 development, and it will be very nice. I can't threaten war for Beijing because that's a capital, unfortunately. Uh, otherwise, I would have done it. I love the threaten war button. It's just so beautiful. You just, oh, so much stuff. Time for a new idea group. Um, oh, okay, so we have two military ones we're working on, but we no, we're not working on it because we're trying to catch up on the tech. We haven't finished two admin ones, but we are almost done with another diplomatic one. So it's probably going to be diplomatic, actually. Uh, let's check it out. Maritime trade diplomatic I think national maybe mm, filtrate ah I always have such a difficulty but uh, I always end up you know falling for the same ones and in this case I'm actually gonna choose free trade or sorry not free trade sorry uh, trade there and um, yeah we'll we'll use that now, I don't need to say this, but I'm actually going to take a break, so if I totally forget, like, if you start seeing that, oh shit, what does, why doesn't he remember shit? It's maybe because I've, I'm have i going to take a few days break between, <laughs> right, like, right in the middle of the episode. Uh, you know, it's been, it says speed 5 here, but I've played a lot of in speed 3, so this has taken quite a while uh, to get here, and uh, that's why we have 800. And 22 development, you know, a king cannot just do some magic. He needs to concentrate. His mind needs to be clear, and that's why I'm gonna go drink some uh, chocolate. Seems like a war down here in the south has uh, led to Ning being released, and Yue is no longer a valid rival for us, so we'll have to choose someone else. I'm thinking, I don't know, Psy, no, I really don't want to turn. West. I mean, I want to focus on the East. However, there is really one, only one option here in the East. So perhaps we shouldn't even do that. Maybe we should just uh, let it. No. Let, yeah. We'll, we'll wait. We'll wait. Ah, it's just so tempting to attack Yan here. Uh, however, I am going to wait for my manpower to recover so that we actually don't fail a mission for once. The Ottomans declared war on Spain! Now this is gonna be exciting, let's see, uh, it's a holy war up there. Oh wait, Spain isn't that big, right, I forgot we have a super, uh, French stuff. But what is it they're going for? I think it's, uh, probably, uh, southern Italy here. Let's actually see what they have for mission. Conquer Mesopotamia. Right. Well, then you're in the clashing course with the Jaws. Hey, let's actually roll the dice here and uh, try to colonize New Zealand. I don't know how well that will go, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll try. It actually takes a shit ton of time for them to get over there. And uh, they're very aggressive, but uh, let's, let's do our best. Free colonies, yes. One plus one colonist, which means we can uh, try to colonize just a little bit more. Finally, it's time to start on the defensive ideas here. We shall take battlefield commissions, which gives us yearly army tradition, finally. Uh, it would be really nice to raise that. So I've been uh, really wanting to do that, but finally we can actually catch up on tech, because uh, we have enough income. Well, it seems that Wu now borders us. Uh, welcome. You will be crushed, don't you worry. Now, I can threaten Manchu for a province. Uh, the highest province, development province I can take is actually Miyogasan, but I don't think there's any land connection there, so that would be troublesome. So I'm going to go for this development 6. I'd actually really like Sakhalin, but uh, the development there is only 3, so we'll, uh, we'll go for that. Also, I could go Chengde, but uh, 
no I can't actually because they're just on the verge and that's uh, not really they're not gonna do that but we'll take a uh, highline bow let's uh, let's watch this lovely lovely we're doing it we're building two ships to take us uh, or to take 5,000 men over to New Zealand where we shall try to establish a little uh, colonial paradise Jan wants military access. Pathetic. Pathetic. You're next up on my list. Like, Beijing here is the prize we're after. Morale of armies? I think yes. That's a pretty good bonus. This is actually quite funny. I was uh, preparing to go to war against uh, Jan, and then, in that case, also go to war against Shun and Wu. However, it seems that Shu... Uh, or Shun, yeah, whatever. Uh, Shu has called me into a war against uh, Shun, right? Uh, and Chinese hegemony, so Yan and Hesweni. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's, um, let's join them. Oh, what do we do? Yes, uh, we invade Shun and Yan. Oh, Yan is in the war, so I really want to occupy that. Ooh, I just got an achievement. Uh, my armies are invincible, which means I got uh, 7.0 army morale. Where is that? Uh, naval, yes, yeah, 7.6 there, that's very nice. Ottomans declare war against Poland. Wow. Steamrolling, I see. Now look at these stats, that is beautiful. We only lost 500 men, they lost like an entire massive stack. We're just gonna, yeah, Asia. Man, we're, it's ours. It's ours. Ah, shoot, you bastard. I didn't, uh... I didn't get anything. Owes me 40 favors. Yeah, heck yes, you owe me 40 favors. What the hell? Like, what the hell, man? Okay, let's, uh... Raise our trust by quite a bit. Uh, actually, yeah, by a lot. Trust me utterly. Because that's just bullshit. I wanted provinces, and now I have to stand with it. Like, now I have a truce with Yan, okay? And that's just stupid. How, how long is that? 52. God damn it. God damn it. Yeah, let's uh, let's go on the imperialism. Costas Belly here against Jin. They don't have any allies. They should be pretty screwed. We'll just occupy everything we can uh, as fast as possible. Right there. Oh wait, actually I got one province. That's very nice. I got 16 development. So we're at 874 and I do think... I mean, it's only 126 more development points until we have our beautiful 1000. Uh, I really hope we, we hold out on all fronts. Alright, let's do this. Peace in our time. Come on, there we go. Wonderful. Now these two will march over here, and this one will march over there, and uh, the ten one is over there, and we have our little Trebizondian colonial army over here, so everything's fine. Lovely. Now we just uh, continue conquering the world. How, how many development points do we have now? 964. Oh my god, guys. We're so close. We are so close. Oh, nice, Muscovy. What's up here? It seems like uh, you, Lithuania, is being defeated by Muscovy. Finally. So, uh, actually, why why didn't you call me into the war? I'm, I'm a good partner, am I not? I don't have a diplomat right now, but yeah. Nice. We are so close. 992. What? How many provinces do? Oh. When these core though, no, yeah, when they're cored, it won't make a difference, but just like eight more development. Oh man, we're, we're so close. In fact, I'm gonna abandon one of the colonies here, or not abandon it. I'm gonna move the colonists south so that uh, we can use him. Actually, let's raise the maintenance so I can kill these people properly. Penal colony in Taranaki, yes, yes, we need more people. Just another 195 days and we'll have our empire. There we go. Now we have a thousand. 
exactly 1,000 development. However, we need 75 prestige. And uh, for that, I think we'll have to go into a war or something. We, uh, we will, we'll have to find a way. But of course, I'm gonna leave you hanging on this cliffhanger. Ha 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 ha. Uh, yes, uh, we'll see in the next episode if we can get our 75 prestige that we need to get our empire uh, thing. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to do that. But you never know, it's Europe and the Missalis. We could crumble into oblivion in a matter of seconds. Um, anyway, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps the channel out. And subscribe if you haven't already. This has been Game Gabster. Farewell.